Hey guys, how's it going? So don't mind the set here. Uh, this is just for podcasting and stuff. Tujan, do you see this? Yes, I okay. see it. Yeah, so don't mind it here. Pretend it's like not even here. Uh, we're talking about acoustic panels today and the new acoustic panels that you guys have been wondering about that I installed. In fact, I think Thomas, Thomas and Stereo, I think he was like asking me if I moved or something. <laughs> I just saw some comments being like, did you move? Um, acoustic panels really make a big difference, not in only in sound quality, but in aesthetics as well. So I actually got these panels uh, shipped to me and uh, full disclosure, this, these were sent to me. I paid for shipping and that's it. So I didn't pay for the panels, but these are fairly affordable and I wanted to use something that you guys can use as well uh, instead of going with more expensive options like Vicoustics. Yes, Vicoustic is a better option. It has thicker panels, but it, it is also harder to mount on the wall. So you have to keep that in mind. I wanted something that can be easily mounted on the wall, lighter, but still aesthetically pleasing and does its job. And these are the panels that does it. All right, so let's get straight to it. So these are from UA Acoustics. I treated my first reflections. And so I have this and all the way up here as well. So my reflection is somewhere here. And how you find that is you run across a mirror until you find the tweeter. You see the tweeter physically and you just mark that per, uh, you know, place and then you put the center of the acoustic panel is there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Um, and then I just put one at the bottom, one at the top, so that whether you know the speakers are a little bit taller or lower, it will be in the center of its space. So yeah, that's what I did. And I did that on the other side as well, which is covered with curtains right now because natural light. Anyways, moving on to the interesting side of the story is the diffusion panels. Let's start there. So diffusion panels are perhaps one of my favorite panels of all time. If you can't get anything else, um, get bass traps <laughs> and then diffusion panels. Diffusion panels, these are not only diffusions, but also uh, absorption because they are foam based. Uh, these are fairly inexpensive and they really help with imaging and the overall just the sound staging and everything. Especially one thing I noticed was that imaging got a lot better in this room after putting this on and it looks nice and uh yeah so these are bass traps now these are uh three bass traps and they kind of look like this so it's a little bit different from traditional uh you know ones i showed in the beginning of the video so they have these two corners and you put glue on each side and you mount them now to tell you something all of these are super glued um using foam glue and it's very important to use the specific right foam glue Okay, I will link the ones that I used in the video uh, in the description below, but it is very important. If you use like Gorilla Glue, like Tujin did, or some other glue, it will fall off. And I'm warning you right now, use the right type of glue. Now, the downside of using the right type of glue is that it will not fall off. And if you rip them off, uh, the wall will be damaged. So this is a permanent solution. There is a semi-permanent per permanent? Yeah. solution which is they sell this like wall hook kind of thing, uh, which is very, very convenient. And I, I tried using them. The only downside is that you can't really have the panels without any gap in between. And for my video purposes and just for aesthetics in general, I wanted no gap in between my acoustic panels and therefore I had to glue them. So this is it. This helps with the entire thing. Oh, and one last thing, this is a little thing up here is also a base trap, it's a corner trap. Um, and I have them here, here, and the other side, which I won't show you because it's ugly. And anyways, the point being is those help as well with bass. Definitely consider bass traps and um, at least the diffusion um, as the starting point, first point reflection. I think that should cover most of it and also have carpet. Don't show my foot. Oh, it's, it's there. Oh no, okay. Anyways, uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you that room. That room is a little bit underwhelming, but it's more kind of like lifestyle and not an audio file room per se. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a nice effect. Oh my God. That's beautiful. What? The, the TV? Yeah, the TV, <laughs> the TV blends in so well. Yeah. That's why PS, PS5 is on one second. Let me turn down the volume. Wow, Jay Lee with the little hoodie. <laughs> All right, hey guys, uh, so this is the top of the, the upper room. 
um, that we're just we're starting to build. I'm trying to make this room like more of a home theater, general purpose room. So we have the 77 inch Samsung Q80T. Is that right? Yep, the, the yeah, 75 inch. 75 inch, sorry, uh, TV um, mounted on the wall, which was heck of a job. <laughs> Um, By yours truly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, TJ helped me a lot. And we have a BBI stands, uh, which is a all-purpose media stand over here. And so we have, uh, you know, streamer and a bunch of stuff on top here that I review for Soundstage as well as my channel. Uh, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about acoustics. So to start off, we have two panels here, one and two. And this is the important part. Those two panels are not doing first reflection because I have stands here with my headphone rack and it's a bit messy, don't mind me, but that basically works as to help the first reflection point because this room is smaller and it's harder to, you know, put panels. It's more of a living room space. I actually live here and not just listen to music. I watch movies and play games with Tujin and stuff like that. So uh -huh. yeah, so uh, yeah, it really, really is a multi-purpose room. So. I can't put acoustic panels everywhere. And I know that some of you guys feel the same way. And even to make matters worse, on this side, I have windows. Bright windows. It's, it's so bright. Uh, it's so bright. Close it. Close it. <laughs> so I have windows, right? And I have this curtain here, uh, this white curtain, because this is actually something called an acoustical curtain. When what that does is it basically mimics an acoustic panel, but it's uh, a, a curtain. So I can't have acoustic panels on the window, obviously. I'm not that crazy yet. I think you've done that before. I, I've done it before, but I didn't want to do this this time around. I know my girlfriend will definitely not approve of that. So what I decided to do was uh, put on these curtains and that will help with some of it. So again, not perfect, but I'm trying to do something with my living space, right? And then here I have the base traps. Now I'm fortunate enough that my I'm allowed to have base traps. So base traps here, same thing as downstairs, three topped off each other. And then here's the big problem. We have a gigantic reflection. Did you just hit the TV? No, huh? never mind. I thought you hit the TV. No, I didn't hit the TV. Bam! Imagine that. <laughs> That'd be a good video. But uh, no, a uh, big reflection point in the middle of my you know, I don't, I don't have a diffusion here. I don't have any acoustic panels. It's not covered. Um, now, occasionally when I listen to stereo, then I would cover it. But let's face it, sometimes you just have to watch TV and sometimes you play music with the TV in the middle. Imaging is fine. Obviously imaging can be better. That's why I test all speakers with imaging downstairs. But for the most part, it's been wonderful. The imaging is not too, too bad in this room at all. Um, and I think that's because it's kind of symmetrical. Um, and I'll keep obviously the BDI stands. If you see here, actually it's a very smart design because it has these like, you know, styles, which also looks nice, but it also works as a diffusion. So that also helps out. And so here, you know, if I open it, I can store a lot of stuff. Now there will be a separate video on the BDI stands. I'm just kind of helping um, to showcase everything. So I have my leak audio here, a bunch of gear and cables in here and I have my PS5 down there. Um, so yeah, you can store a lot of stuff, helps with airflow and all that good stuff. And most importantly, if I want to switch tables and stuff, I can bring it out, bring it in. And uh, it works, like I said, as a diffusion as well. That's what I'm talking about it in the acoustic um, video. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this room. Now let's go out and check out my messy, messiest working room where I edit these videos and stuff. Oh no. Okay, so this is my messy, messy... <laughs> messy. So this is my editing room and uh, it's very messy. Hot sauce. You like it spicy? It's okay. No, don't, don't turn the camera. <laughs> Stay here. Uh, so this is the cat house with Yimera and this is Rebecca uh, typing on the keyboard viciously and playing lead. Uh, she's a girlfriend. Anyways, so we have here acoustic panels and as you can see it's right behind the speakers. Uh, behind the cat house with Yimera. Can you see that, Tujin? Yeah. Yep, so that helps with the, you know, the, the problem with the uh, having the speakers so close to the, to the back wall. I have acoustic panels there, I have a floating balloon there. Hot air balloon. And uh, obviously acoustic curtains here. Curtains? Curtains. 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 And uh, this, is not, this is not an acoustic curtain. This is just for aesthetics when I shoot videos. And then I can just close this and I have acoustic uh, yeah. treatment. 
And she also gets uh, acoustic treatment. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and uh, a little bit crazy here, you don't see is on this side, if you can get it without the bed getting in. <laughs> uh, we can try, yeah. Yep. Uh, it looks like diapers on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> mats. It is basically acoustic treatment um, to help with that as well. So this room is actually pretty damped. Anyways, that's, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys got something out of that to get an idea of how to treat your room. All the links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. And that's next the time. end of Jay's acoustic house tour. Yes. Until next time.